This commemorative cross, which in the regiment here we call our Vimy Cross, commemorates the members of the 21st Battalion who we lost on the taking of Vimy Ridge. Taking of Vimy Ridge was important not only to the Allied cause, but it was very important to Canada. After Vimy Ridge and the other countries had failed to take it, the other Allied countries, eh, Canada was never again looked at as a colonial country. This is the colors of the 21st Battalion that was the unit that was sent overseas out of this armories. We were called out as the 21st. This is an expeditionary force, which means they're only in for the service during the war. Once the war is over and they brought them back, they are discharged to either go back to the regiment or go back to civvy life, whichever they wish. It's, it just has a few of the battle honors on these. They're just sewn on because these are temporary colors. Okay, now I'm just going to go down another drawer and show you what happened after the war. We had the colors redone again. This time they're done as permanent colors. They're all embroidered on. The battle honors are embroidered on. The uh, king's crown on the, t on the top. The name instead of the expeditionary force, it has the Princess of Wales' own regiment. I got to meet a lot of the men of the 21st Battalion. And it used to be a real joy because on Friday night, we'd come down to the sergeant's mess and we'd come in the mess and there'd be anywhere from a dozen to 20 members of the 21st all sitting in there. We had a big round table there and it was nicknamed the bullshit table. These fellows would go in and talk to each other about the First World War because what they'd went through, they couldn't talk to anybody else about it. They'd talk about it to, amongst themselves. We have as much as possible in this museum which is hands-on. The idea is that people can come in and get to handle the equipment, get an idea of the weight, what it looks like, and not be behind glass all the time. Uh, many of the people who come into the museum are very impressed with the fact that they can actually touch it, pick it up, and everything. And it is uh, much nicer. Like, people have no idea the weight of a 36 grenade until you pick one up in your hand and you get an idea just how much this thing weighs. The thing is, this place didn't become a country till 1867. This regiment's older in the country. And the history of the militia is the history of the country. The country is all wrapped around the militia. Okay, because everything that's ever happened, you know, has to do with the militia. Going right back to the very beginning. And if you don't know your past and the mistakes were made, you're bound to make them again. Every Thursday, uh, closest to April the 9th, the unit has a service here to dedicate to members of the 21st Battalion who were lost at Vimy. Parade is held on, out here on the square with everybody facing the, the cross of the 21st Battalion. The names of the 73 members of the 21st Battalion killed at Vimy Ridge are read in. Walter Stanley Newman, Private A.G. 